Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing the 7 Deadly Sins of Beauty tag. And this tag just had a lot of really fun questions, so I figured I'd do it for you guys. So the first question is greed. And the question is, what is your most inexpensive beauty item and your most expensive? So for my most inexpensive, I have a couple of them, and most of them are by e.l.f. just because e.l.f. is just really cheap for the most part. But this is one that I just recently purchased, so I thought I'd put this in here. And this is the 2-in-1 Conditioning Lip Gloss, and it's in the color Supermodel. It's just like a really bright, I think it looks that bright, it's just a really bright coral color. And I actually absolutely hate this lip gloss. And it's, it's still in the box because I hate it that much. Like I tried it once and I hated it. It's so sticky and it doesn't like rub out. It's that sticky. I absolutely hate this. So I guess in this case I got what I paid for because it was a dollar. But I thought I would try it and I absolutely hated it. So lesson learned I guess. Um, so my most expensive, I have two that are about the same, I think. I'm trying to think, because I, I used to use, um, what's it called, Bare Minerals, and I think that was either 30 or 40, so, I don't know, I don't have any of that left, though, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to show you guys that one, because I don't have it, obviously. But I have the NARS Deep Throat Blush, and I think this retails for about 28 to 30 dollars, I believe, and I love, love, love this blush. And I try not to use it too much, because it is expensive, but it's just a really pretty pink color. It's looking really light, I don't know why. It's a really pretty pink color. I love this blush. I really hate using it though. Because I just don't want to run out of it. And then this lipstick that I don't even know if they make anymore. It is called Luna Twilight. And it's just fit in lipstick in the color Lullaby. And this I got a couple years ago when I was like obsessed with Twilight. Like way back when they first came out. I thought it was like the best thing ever. My parents got this for me for Christmas. And my mom said this was about 30 or 35 I think she said. And it's just like a really pretty pinky red color. But it's like really light when it comes out. And this has, like, I don't even know who makes this. Like, it doesn't say a company name or anywhere on here. I don't remember who made it. But the formula of this is just, like, it's just, like, the most smoothest thing. You're not even going to see it if I swatch it on myself. There's, like, barely any color to it. It's right there. It's really light. But I absolutely love this lipstick. It's so smooth and so soft. I love this stuff. But I think she said this is, like, 30 or 35. So then the next question is wrap. With what beauty products do you have a love-hate relationship with? And what product has been the hardest to get? So I'm going to say that the product I have a love-hate relationship with is the Matrix Gold Heat um, Protective Dry Mist. And the reason I say that I have a love-hate relationship with this is that I hardly ever use it. Like, I know I should use it. It's good to protect your hair and everything, obviously. But it's just, sometimes it just really weighs down my hair. And it's not the amount I'm using, it's just randomly that it would just, like, Maybe it's a conditioner and shampoo mouth I'm using as well. I don't know, but it weighs down my hair a lot. And this is a really oily. Even though it's a dry mist, I feel like it's really oily. It makes my hair almost stringy. A little bit towards the roots, I guess. Or in, like, my bangs, the ends are more stringy and separated when I use this. Even though I don't directly spray it in my hair, I actually put it in my hands, rub my hands together, and slowly, like, put it through start at the ends. It's still just, like, really heavy for me. I feel like a regular spray would be probably better than a dry mist. But since I bought it, I just keep using it. Yeah. But yeah, so this is my love-hate relationship. Um, for the products that's the hardest to get, I would say the Revlon Lip Butters, because I heard about how great they were, and I really wanted to try them. And I searched, I went to, I, was, I went to Target, I went to CVS, I went to Walgreens, I checked everywhere. I couldn't find them for the longest time, and I finally found them, but it was like a month afterwards. And then, the other product that, I, that is the hardest to get, or is still the hardest to get, is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk. Every time I go to Ulta, they're sold out. And there's only one Ulta near me. And it's such a cheap product that I don't want to buy it online on Ulta and pay the shipping for it. Because it's such a cheap product by itself. But I keep checking and they're sold out. And then some other sites online I've checked and I don't know. They're always sold out everywhere. So I keep my eye out and keep checking Ulta. Because I'm dying to get that. So if you wonder why I'm looking down, my notebook's down here. So that's what I'm looking at. Um, the next one is Gluttony. What are your most delicious beauty products? So, I don't really have a lot. I know there's like the Body Shop and there's um, Bath and Body Works and they're all scented body wash and stuff, but I just love my um, Oliver Lay body wash and stuff like that. And I use, I use like Jergens hand lotion or Burt's Bees and like that. So I don't have really yummy smelling stuff, but I do have a few things I figured I would mention. So, first thing is my EOS hand cream. I saw this on, I forget who 
someone on YouTube I saw this. I'll have to figure out who it is and link them in the down bar. But I saw this on their channel. And I don't like the EOS lip balms. I'm going to start by saying that. I don't like them. They're really waxy. I don't like them. And I know a lot of people do like them, but I actually really hate them. I have one, and it's probably rolling around in my car somewhere, I think. I don't use it. But I really want to try this. And as soon as I did, I loved it. And it smells so good. It is coupon percent. It's just like that. It's, oh, I love this lotion so much. It smells so good. Um, and then another one that I just got. My boyfriend got me this as part of my Valentine's present. This is Vampire Perfume. And I know it sounds weird. And I do have this weird obsession with vampires that... I don't know. I've outgrown the whole Twilight stuff, but I'm on to bigger and better, scarier things. I love vampires. They just freak me out. I love it. So he got me this. And it smells... Oh my gosh, I love this. It's like sweet. Like vanilla-y, but it's also like really musky at the same time. And it just smells amazing. I'm not sure where he got this. It's made by Body Fantasy. I'm going to take out the box. I just saved the box. I thought it was kind of cool. This is the bottle. This is on vampire right there. And it just smells... Oh, it's so sweet and musky together. It's a really weird combination, but I... Oh, it smells so, so, so good. I wish you guys could smell it through the computer. It smells so good. It's like amazing. I, I have to ask him where I got it. You guys can go out and smell it. Cause it smells so, so, so good. Those are my delicious smelling products. Um, next one is sloth. What beauty products do you neglect due to laziness? So, I have all the like all the stuff I need to do my makeup and everything. I don't use half of it. And it's really bad. So I have to figure out which one like I don't use. Like I don't use all my makeup brushes because I just have I have the 23 set roll from Coastal Scents or 23 or 32 something like that. I don't who do you use that many brushes every single day? That I guess I don't use. But I was trying to go through the list, and I guess the one thing I really hardly ever use is foundation primer. I don't know if it's because I don't like the foundation primer that I have, or if I just don't feel like I need it. I have the Bare Minerals, I think it's called Prime Time, and I got that as a set that came with my Bare Minerals foundation. It's a powder foundation. So when I use it, I don't know if it works because it's the only foundation primer I've ever used, so I don't really have anything to compare it to. And because it came with the powder foundation, I feel like maybe it's made for powder foundation instead of liquid, so I don't know. Maybe that's why I don't use it. I don't know. I just hardly ever use it. I use, like, eye primer, but I don't always use, like, face primer. I do every once in a while, but not usually. Okay. The next one is Pride. What beauty product gives the most, most um, self-confidence? And I would say blush and mascara, because I can go out, I mean, I don't even need blush. I can go out of the house, and, like, if I'm going tanning or right down to the grocery store or whatever, I'll just put on, like, mascara. But usually if I'm just, like, running out real quick, I'll put on, you know, blush and mascara, and I'll be good. So I'm not, like, going anywhere really nice. So that's, I guess, giving me the most confidence. Um, next one is lust. What attributes do you find the most attractive in opposite sex? Um, I would say, if we're going with the physical stuff, I would say a nice smile and really nice hair. And my boyfriend has, like, amazing hair. It's like the faux hawk, and it looks so good, and I love his hair. He never lets me touch it, though, because he's scared of mess it up, but I love his hair. I think that's maybe one of the first things that attracted me to him, was his hair. So, yeah. Next one is envy. What item would you most like to receive as a gift? And I had to think hard about this one, just because... I don't know if there's anything I would want as a gift, because, like, you can't get foundation. I mean, to match somebody, that'd be, like, I mean, I guess perfume would be a good one, but everyone else did this video mentioned perfume. So I'm going to say the one thing I'd love to get as a gift is the Naked 2 palette. Because I had looked at the Naked, the first palette, and there was, like, one or two colors I didn't like. And I was like, I'm going to spend this much money on a palette. I'm going to, I want to love every color. So now that came out the Naked 2, I love every single color in it. So I'm debating getting it. But that would be the one thing I'd like to get as a gift. Because it's kind of expensive for, you know, for makeup. Makeup is just, it's crazy how much money we all spend on makeup. And you guys can't disagree with me. It is crazy how much money we all spend on makeup. Every day, every week, you know what I mean? So, that's the one thing. So, that's the end of this video. I tag all of you that are watching to do this video. Thanks for watching. Check in next time.